Today we're going to discuss a very important topic called stroke. Stroke is an emergency and should be recognized immediately in the emergency department to prevent poor prognosis of the patient. According to Centers for Disease Control, stroke sometimes called a brain attack occurs when something blocks blood supply to part of the brain or when a blood vessel in the brain bursts. In either case, parts of the brain become damaged or die. A stroke can cause lasting brain damage, long-term disability or even death. Here comes a very important scale called Rosier scale which stands for recognition of stroke in emergency room. It is a very easy stroke assessment tool for nurses and doctors especially those working in the emergency department. The scale is based on the history and examination. There are two points which if present in that patient give a negative mark. These include history or current loss of consciousness or syncope or any seizure which means fits. For either of them, you will subtract one point from the total score. Next, there are five points which are the main indicators of stroke. And for every correct point or symptom or sign present in the patient, you will give them one mark. So you're going to ask them or you're going to examine the patient for asymmetric facial weakness, which means one-sided weakness or deviation of the face asymmetric arm weakness, asymmetric leg weakness, speech disturbance which includes slurring of speech and visual field defects. Then you're going to calculate the total score. It will range somewhere between minus 2 to plus 5. Stroke is unlikely but not completely excluded if total scores are equal to or less than 0. So this is how you can determine if the patient is likely to have a stroke and then you can get an urgent CT scan done so that you can rule out if it is ischemic stroke or if it is hemorrhagic stroke. If the score is very low and there are other signs of symptoms present then you can evaluate the patients and treat them accordingly. I hope you will use this very important and quick tool in your daily assessment in the emergency department. If you have any question related to the Rosier scale do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.